the second episode, we get a glimpse of what the world looks like outside the park. You sent time for the entertainment. With a character like Delos, you learn as much about them from the environments they choose as you do as with the character themselves. It's a retirement party. We knew we had to convey in shorthand who this person was. More like a coronation, but not mine. He's a self-made man. The accent suggests he's not from a place that has palm trees, and yet here he is on a palm-lined estate somewhere. You see him in all of his decadent power, uh, still struggling with his own problems. If you're playing a wealthy person, when you're surrounded by all that, you know, you can imagine, but you can't really, because they don't see it that way. It has little meaning for them. Power is, is their thing. Our arrangement's been a perfect fit. You stepping down doesn't help me at all. Not me. And I was told I might, <laughs> I might not have to. An astute viewer will pick up in that scene that he's perhaps ailing and that there is something that they are working on that may be able to fix that ailment. Acting in the Dallas Mansion, it was a completely different world. It was really beautiful. It was very strange. It was like being on another show. I think the first time I was actually in a modern set in a new dress, but yet still playing the same essence of Dolores. Even though you're in a different place, how does that new world inform us about the character story? Jonah and Howard Cummings and myself spent a lot of time talking about the type of wealth that James Delos would have accrued over his time. And after a lot of searching up and down the coast of California, we found this beautiful property in Malibu. There was seven acres of rose gardens, an indoor pool and an outdoor pool, but we also found a family home that was warm and had a subtle opulence to it. This is more of a Spanish Mediterranean style architecture on the outside, but on the inside, I also found classical features. And background, action. Walking through the hallways led me into a living room, which was very nice because it was large, and I felt that there were many opportunities there to provide different angles for the filmmakers. We're shooting in a real location. It's not a stage, it's a film set. You have to be very careful. But it's a very evocative location because you have the Pacific right there. You see it, it's predominant in almost every shot. I was excited to explore her backstory. As Dolores starts to remember more, she comes to the realization that she's actually been to the outside world before. She would be brought out into these situations with some of the most powerful people in the world. Of course, no one would ever have any forethought that this this being would be taking in every bit of information that she could get. 